Introduction My grandfather's health is not good these days. Is he having some serious problem? Yes. Don't you remember that day teacher told us in class that health is a state of being well enough to function well physically, mentally and socially. My grandfather is getting old and so he is becoming weak physically. Yes, I remember that teacher also told us that the health of all organisms depends on their environment. The environment includes the physical environment. Example, in a cyclone or a flood, health is at risk in many ways. Ankita, do you know that even in normal environmental conditions, when our surroundings are not regularly cleaned, then also so many diseases are spread. Example, malaria, diarrhea, etc. Yes, I have noticed so many times when sweeper does not come in my colony, then there is a huge dump of garbage and water is logged, which gives birth to so many bacteria, fungi, flies and mosquitoes, which in turn give rise to various dangerous diseases. One more thing which controls good health is balanced food. That is why my mother and grandmother always ask us to eat food properly. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define health and disease Identify types of diseases Understand acute and chronic diseases Understand congenital and acquired diseases Understand the difference between infectious and non-infectious diseases Find the symptoms of various diseases Find principle of treatment Find principle of prevention of disease Understand vaccination Disease Do you know that when we are unhealthy then we are having one or more diseases? Disease? What is that? I have read that disease means disturbed ease. Yes, scientifically disease can be defined as a disordered or incorrectly functioning organ, part, structure or system of the body resulting from the effect of genetic or developmental errors, infection, poisons, nutritional deficiency or imbalance, toxicity or unfavorable environmental factors, illness, sickness, ailment. Types of diseases Can you tell me how many types of diseases are there? Yes, human diseases are grouped into four categories, acute, chronic, congenital and acquired. Acute disease Yes, I know that acute diseases are those diseases whose effects come on suddenly and affect the body quickly. Example, Influenza Chronic disease And chronic diseases are those diseases whose symptoms last for months or years. Example, Elephantiasis, tuberculosis, etc. Congenital disease Congenital diseases are those which are present since birth. Example, albinism, haemophilia. Acquired disease Yes, I know that acquired diseases occur only after birth and hence they are non-inherited. But acquired diseases are of two types, communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. Example, influenza. Difference between communicable and non-communicable diseases. Can you tell me the difference between communicable and non-communicable diseases? Yes, communicable can be transmitted from an infected person 
to a healthy person, while non-communicable diseases cannot be transmitted. Communicable diseases are by microbes called pathogens. Non-communicable diseases are caused by deficiency of nutrient or hormone or degeneration of tissue or tumor formation or hypersensitivity of body. Symptoms of Diseases Ankita, I want to tell you that disease symptoms are of two types. Organo or tissue specific manifestations and common manifestations. Principle of Treatment Okay Madhuri, I also want to tell you the principle of treatment of various diseases are symptom directed and pathogen directed. Principles of Prevention Similarly, there are two broad methods of prevention of disease, general ways and specific ways. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Health is a state of physical, mental and social well-being. The health of an individual is dependent on his or her physical surroundings and his or her economic status. Diseases are classified as acute or chronic depending on their duration. Contagious or acquired on the basis of heredity or developed during lifetime. Disease can be from infectious or non-infectious causes. Infectious agents belong to different categories of organisms and may be unicellular and microscopic or multicellular. The category to which a disease-causing organism belongs decides the type of treatment. Infectious agents are spread through air, water, physical contact or vectors. Prevention of disease is more desirable than its successful treatment. Infectious diseases can be prevented by public health hygiene measures that reduce exposure to infectious agents.